Hey guys, two days after the apocalypse. It's pretty exciting. We were kind of an apocalypse-obsessed society for a minute there, so this has got to be good news for... Well, obviously it's kind of a bummer with the whole if you go outside you die thing for the remaining people who wanted to be marauders, but wither away and die with the apocalypse you have, not the apocalypse you want, you know, so whatevs. I have some water. Uh, no food. Gary's got fish food, he's good. Obviously there's, um, no power and no internet, but... I have like two hours of battery on my laptop and I thought I'll just make some videos because it's what I do. You know, I lay them on the hard drive until the internet comes back on so I don't lose any more subscribers this week. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing with these videos. So we're off to a good start. Hey guys, do you remember the internet song? That's that, uh, it was the first song I posted uh, a long time ago, and everyone seemed to like it. Uh, it went like this. You troll me, do not want me. You flame me and lol at me. But just like Sir Rick Astley, you never gave up on me, yeah. And Charlie never bit me. And Beardman never hit me. Hitler never threw a fit at me. I rewrote that song. Uh, today because it needs to be updated so this is the no more internet song no more youtube subscribers no more update flash drivers no more downfall transcribers and no more nights of cybering else to do and save battery so bye guys so i've decided to write a musical okay i've always spent my life loving musicals i've been a big fan of musicals my entire life and i've always said that someday i was going to write one mathematically likely that someday is going to be someday this week like tuesday the day thing is now connecting to an actual day of the week in a way that it never has before and you know i never got around to it just with all the, the youtube stuff and dealing with replies and comments and annotations are a big pain in the ass and i've been busy and then gary the fish has had his own problems going on and then the other big thing is i was never really good at lyrics and i just had a problem with those and musically i wanted to be a better musician just to make sure that I wasn't writing songs that I was later going to be embarrassed by. And then when Chewbacca the puppy ran away, that was good. That was good inspirational stuff. But that was a little bit too real. And the other thing is you usually get your inspiration from friendships or relationships. Now, that's all fine. That's all over with because it's musicals. Now, I've already screwed up because the first song should have been uh, an introduction to the character and the setting. Uh, and I, you know, I played a song from my internet famous days, and instead of setting up the character of the situation, I just did that. And it's okay, because now the second song is where it's really important, because this is where you, you establish how the character sees his or her problem. You kind of frame it for them, you kind of reconcile what they're thinking and all those things. Just, you know, I analyze musicals. And that's sort of what this is supposed to be. Now my problem has always been lyrics and inspiration and all of that stuff. But... My problem now is actually that I don't have that problem anymore. <laughs> it's not a metaphor to say that the world ended in fire, or I think I'm gonna die here, or I'm feeling fine, and everyone died, and I don't even know why. I'm alive. I think I'm gonna cry. And Trapped alone or helpless or equal lyrical excess because in this case literally everyone's dead. But I'm not panicking yet. I'll be 
fineness was my curse. And the musical is what I wanted, but I moved the date. And I focused on a million friends, and I told myself to wait. But I wish they were all alive right now, just here to commiserate, because now I can say any lyric I want to, and I won't have to exaggerate, because it's not a metaphor to say. It's irony or entropy. My viewers died, and it's just me, and I'm finally something to say. It's not hyperbole to say. It's not poetical. It's not caricature. Not hypothetical. Nor is it my conjecture to say. There's nothing left. All right, the third song in a musical is typically a song about the characters change and how they're different. The third song in a musical is typically a song about the change that the characters go through. The third song in a musical is typically a song about the change that the characters fuck. I could have gone to Michelle's party, been with people and died immediately like everyone else on the fucking planet. Instead of hanging out in my basement on YouTube, updating my channel for subscribers that are dead now that never helped me at all. Gary's doing his job being a friend. My best friend is a fish. Literally starving to death. He's gonna outlive me. <clears throat> so the third song in a musical is typically a song about the, the character going through a change in his fucking life that he has to deal with and you know the new change of scenery or something like that and i wish that this was a song i could write about myself finding a giant crate of food but i don't think that song's gonna happen who's there listening to me i don't even know their names and in the end i know they weren't friends i fooled myself all the same and i don't find it to be any less schizophrenic talk to my shelf instead of myself, but I find no more use in it. Cause I spent my life rehearsing for the show that I wanted to play, but I didn't become a person until my very last day. A life spent wasted on things I'd never need or use. A million strong teams a couple of knees and left with nothing to lose. Left with nothing to lose. Fuck. There you go, buddy. No, it's okay. You can eat without me. Yeah. There you go. Want some dinner music? Subscribers to me, just one friend is here beside me. Awesome ish, whose name is Gary. He's so If 
We're not the only two survivors. There's gonna be more survivors. <clears throat> the um, next song in a musical. Back on topic. Typically a big I want number. Like in Little Shop of Horrors, it's somewhere that's green. Or basically like half the songs in Little Shop of Horrors. That's the next one that comes up. And um, I found it pretty easy to write a big I want number. <laughs> I've decided to go outside, so this might be my final video, but I need to get something to eat. Um, there's nothing in here. I can't do this anymore. There's three ways I can choose to die, basically. Um, I get off myself manually and just kind of get this over with, but there's not a gun in here or anything suitably knifey. I was about to say that would hurt. Uh, I could starve, which, no stars. <laughs> or I can just go outside and, you know, run, but see what's going to happen. Anyway. I could just... If I'm gonna die, uh, I was gonna die anyway, so it's not a big loss. Plus my laptop's running out of battery. Oh, hey. All right, good news and bad news. Bad news is, that was definitely a bad idea. I definitely just accelerated my own death. I can feel it. But, I got food and water. I got Doritos and water. Which makes for a happy fish and a happy guy. I was going to get pork rinds, but I didn't think it would fit well with the newspaper I've been eating, so. 
Anyway. I bargained backwards. Here, you can take the like rest half of my life. If I can have some food. Totally worth it. Totally fucking worth it. Anyway. I wrote a ballad. Kind of. <coughs> Doritos aren't as bad for you as the apocalypse. I know I'm worried about trans fat too. On my cheesy, awesome, sticky chips, but. Uh, Gary died in the new water this morning. It's the water I've been drinking, so I have to hurry. Um, if anyone wants to look at the pages for this musical, they're on my documents, Last Things, so you can put it on a musical. Um, the next song in a musical is typically a love song, uh, and as there's no girl in this particular story. This is a name, uh, B, B, B flat major. Ever get the feeling that your heart's no good? Or feel the way no one should? gonna be we a level incomplete when the music stops it's just me you've wasted time or do you assume it can't be mine I'm a robot is what I've heard but robots have all the time in the world Just me. A level set to bed. With words of love left on.
Gary is dead. And you are too. And soon I will be dead too. I thought at least there'd be people to say nice things about me. Or someone to miss me. But it's just me, fading out here all alone. In Christ, it is getting cold. My mind is aching and I feel my body giving in. And this song will be it. This song will be it. And this song will be it. So why, why am I so damn happy? Feel the play bloody blobby. You put a gun to my head and you could not. Damn happy, disproportionately happy. Zabudi, body, 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 body. Hard to believe that it took me this and this is all I have. Hard to believe that I've come to care so much about it, but I have, and that this is it. I did it. <laughs>